mwana peti. Karibuni sana. I look forward to seeing your version of uh, Samaki wa Kupaka. This is my version of Samaki wa Kupaka, my interpretation of it. So I'm really looking forward to some real-time comments and compliments. I look forward to seeing your comments as well. Hey guys, welcome back to the Kenyan Kitchen. I'm Chef Les and I wanted to thank all of you who've subscribed, liked, shared our work. Uh, we are still at the Pneumatic Kitchen, this beautiful, beautiful studio kitchen with what uh, all the appliances that they're selling and they've been kind enough to allow me to film all my holiday shoots at their studio. So come check them out. It's an incredible place. I'm sure you like it. Literally moved here. So Karibu Nisana, love to have you here. So today we'll be making some nice samaki wakupaka. I'd love to see what you think about my version of samaki wakupaka on the comments. And you know, food is all about having fun. So without further ado, let me take you through what we're going to use for our, our dish. So we have some nice fresh tilapia. We have some fresh ginger, some onions, two lemons, which we'll use to marinate our fish, garlic cloves that we are going to pound, make some sauce with it, and also marinate our fish. We have some coconut milk, a blend of spices. I have some turmeric, one and a half teaspoons of it. I have some garam masala, about one tablespoon. I have coriander powder, a tablespoon. I have some chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of that. I've got paprika powder, about a tablespoon of that. And finally, I have a little bit of garam masala. I'm just skipping the process of getting whole spices and crushing them. And then what I'll do is I'll get my fish. It's already been cleaned and gutted. So all I need to do is slit it across. There we go. Then we also have some tomato paste, salt, pepper, a bit of garlic oil, garlic infused oil. I have some nice ripe tomatoes. I also have four medium sized onions for our sauce. We have some onions here, both red onions and spring onions because we want our sauce to be nice and rich. I have some fresh dania or coriander, a bit of tomato paste, some sugar to cut down on the acidity of the tomatoes, and butter that we're going to, you know, use to enrich our sauce. I'll start by marinating my fish, but before I do that, I'll take some kitchen towel, some paper towel, pat dry this, all right, so I have my spices here and I'll season my fish with some of this masala inside out. Give our lemons a nice squeeze. And for you to completely extract all the juice, you want to put in some muscle. Lemon not only completely gets rid of the fishy smell, but also enhances the flavor. There we go. Then we'll take some garlic and we are going to finely mince this into a paste that we'll use both in the sauce and for marinating our fish. And we'll just rub this garlic on the inside out. I'll throw my garlic and ginger in this food processor. Some oil. I'll take some out for the sauce. Then I'll use the rest to marinate my fish. Make sure that the fish is well marinated. Mm. 
But our fish can now go into the fridge for a few minutes to marinate as we make our sauce. As our fish marinates, we'll peel some tomatoes here. So our tomatoes are in. We'll give this two minutes. Then I'll chop some onions for the sauce. I have my pan on low heat so that once we are done with our onions, they can start cooking immediately. Our onions are ready. Our pan is nice and hot. I'll put in some garlic oil, about a quarter cup, because we'll put in spices and spices normally absorb a lot of oil. As our onions cook, we'll get our tomatoes out because they are ready. I have my bowl of cold water there and you can see the skin is already peeling off very, very easily. And the minute you put this inside a bowl of cold water, then the skin comes off on its own. And for this recipe, you can also use uh, any preserved tomatoes, like what we did with the kachumbari. I normally just keep those, those seeds and um, add them into my sauce. Just a rough chop because we are going to blend our sauce anyway. And at this stage, I'll add my garlic and ginger. Then my masala goes in. So once you put in the spices, it normally gets a bit dry. And what you want to do is keep an eye on this. Lower the heat at this stage, completely lower the heat at this stage, and just give it time to cook. I'll add in a bit of butter at this stage, and reserve the rest later for when my sauce is ready. For all my vegan friends, you can substitute the butter with coconut, coconut oil. So we let this cook down for four minutes, four to five minutes on very, very low heat. I have a nice bunch of fresh spring onions. I'll throw some in right now, and then I'll reserve the rest for much, much later. My spices have cooked, and now I can add in the rest of my ingredients. Starting with my spring onions. At this stage, I add my tomato paste. These are about two tablespoons of tomato paste. We want a nice, rich sauce. I'm adding a few tablespoons of water so that my spices have enough moisture to cook well and the tomato paste doesn't burn. My sauce is coming through very, very well. And I'll let this cook down for about three to four minutes on medium-high heat. While this cooks, we'll season it with a bit of salt and pepper. My tomatoes now go in. I'll crank up the heat to high and we'll basically just stew our sauce, cook this down until the tomatoes are completely soft. We'll cover this up and let it cook until the tomatoes are soft approximately 10 to 15 minutes and we shall be good to go. I'm going to blend my sauce right here and then marinate my fish with this nice sauce. There's a Swahili saying that says, Kuvunji kamwiko sio mwisho wa kupika. And I say, kumwagika kwa sauce kidogo, sio mwisho wa kupika. Loosely translated that a small mess, you know, is not a big deal. You clean up and move on. And now I'll put this to continue slowly simmering. And in the meantime, I'll get my fish out of the fridge. 
it's been just about 15 minutes or a little over 15 minutes. I'll add in a bit of the coconut milk. Actually, I'll add in all the coconut milk. Then I shall spoon over the sauce on both sides. So grab it by the tail and turn it on this other side. Then spoon over the other side with sauce. And do the same with all three fish. My oven uh, was preheated to 200 degrees. And once my fish goes inside, I'll lower it to 190. So my oven is very hot and I'll set it at 30 minutes. At 190 to 200 degrees. So what I want to do with my ugali is I will put a little, just a little, my friends. Don't, don't crucify me. A little bit of salt. a good tablespoon of butter. I'll put a good bunch of parsley, just a small one. Try it once. If you don't like it, it's fine. Have plain ugali. You never know, you might love this, as I did. And what I'm using is some good fortified, unrefined maize meal. My ugali is nice and soft, I'll just Continue stirring it until I'm happy with my consistency, my texture. I like a nice soft ugali. So I learned this trick from actually many, many, many other different people. For the ugali not to stick on your, on your wooden spoon, then you dunk it in a bit of cold water and that way you're able to mold it and it comes off easily onto your plate then we can shape it once it's on our plate. So your gully swelling up this way is also a good indicator that you are good to go. So we release it from the sides a bit this way, put a plate on. See that? Magic. <laughs> then uh, we'll finish off our sauce, which has been simmering for about the same amount of time that our fish has been in the, in the oven. I'll put a good tablespoon of yogurt. fresh coriander to finish off. Oh, nice. Get all our roasted sauce to this other sauce. And there we have it. Um, choosy over our beautiful samaki wa kupaka. Some dollops of yogurt and some fresh coriander to garnish. Bon appetit. Karibuni sana. I look forward to seeing your version of uh, samaki wa kupaka. This is my version of samaki wa kupaka, my interpretation of it. So I'm really looking forward to some real-time comments and compliments. I look forward to seeing your comments as well. Uh, stay safe, enjoy responsibly, and God bless. <laughs>